All right, so in this video, I thought I'd attempt to make a headset cut like this, but for a 41 millimeter headset bearing. So this is a 56 zero stack headset cup, and I need it to fit a 41 millimeter headset bearing. So I'm gonna try to lathe my own. For that, I have this 6061 aluminum rod that's 60 millimeters in diameter and I have a bit of a problem so the lathe I bought is very small this is the shock from it so it's like a miniature lathe I don't know I didn't check how big it was before I bought it which is kind of a rookie mistake the problem is it's just too small to fit this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this kind of thing I got with the lathe it's like another shock but you're supposed to like fasten it with bolts and i'm gonna drill a hole in the middle of this so what i will do is i will use this threaded rod to go through these and then mount them together like that and then i will lay it down the outside the 56 and then it will fit into the shock and then i will lay the inside so let's first mount up the material and then get to lathing. Alright, so here is the tube I'm gonna press it into and moment of truth, did I make it too small or too big? And it is actually a very, a tiny bit too big. I was afraid I might have made it too small, but now I will check the true in the diameter, yes, that's right around under 60, no, 56. This is almost perfect 56. So I'm gonna put this back in the lathe. All right, so now I've taken off a bit more and sanded it down. And now it fits as it should. I mean, that's a normal amount of resistance for a like head tube or like a headset. I have this for like to check and it's about the same. So now the outside is done and I will start working on the hard part, the inside. And it's not going to be this high. So I'm going to have to put it into the lathe and then turn it down. Either I'm going to hack it off with the like hacksaw or I'm just gonna turn it down, but turning it down will take quite a while. So I think I'm gonna try to do something with the hacksaw and just keep kind of a two millimeter, one and a half millimeter little edge. And then I'm gonna start working on the middle. Alright, so turning down the face of this took ages because 
there's so much material and I realized it doesn't have to be so much material. I can like half it just by removing the core because it's a steer tube that's gonna come up here. So what I did is I made this little circle here that I can use as a pattern. And then I will drill out a lot of holes here and hopefully take the core out. And that will greatly reduce the amount of turning I will have to do. All right, so here it is pressed into the head tube. Very nice fit, not too loose, not too tight. And then here we have the bearing and it fits very nice into there. And the tapered part came out really good because I realized that the hitch on the threads to the, like the X axis and the Y axis on the machine was the same. So if I just rotated them out at the same time, it would become a 45 pitch, which this is. So it fits very good. No wobble. A little bit oversized because I became too excited. Uh, but this can be a little like it's. I don't know if you can tell, it's very little oversized. And a lot of headsets are actually come like that, like not very, not super tight. But overall, I would say this is a success. This is my first ever time like using the lathe. So I think it came out great. It took quite a while, uh, as you can imagine, because I'm not very familiar with the lathe and I have a very bad lathe, actually. It is very weak and uh, the belt slips a lot. So I will definitely need to find a solution for that as well because I can only take like a couple hundreds of a millimeter off at a time and that makes it very time consuming and creates a hell of a lot of chips as you can tell here's my bucket of chips it's like a 12 liter bucket half full but they're very airy so I mean but that's it for this video and uh, hopefully you have learned something or been inspired in some way to go make something because that's what I get. I watch YouTube a lot and then I get inspired and I do stuff. And I hope you feel that same feeling as well. And I'll see you guys in another video.